Stop. Dissolution time. As usual for any kind of experiment, it is first necessary to gather all the materials that will be needed to perform the process. It is also highly recommended that the materials are checked to ensure that they are of a sufficient quality. After this, the distilling apparatus must be built. The first stage of this is to gather your round bottom flask and fill it with the mixture that you are going to distill. For this example, we will be adding 15 milliliters of both distilled water and ethanol to the flask. It is necessary when adding the mixture to ensure that when put in the flask, it does not exceed half the possible height of the round bottom flask. After this, we need to connect the flask to the still head tightly. Normally, we would now insert the thermometer into the top of the still head, but before we can do that, we have to ensure that the thermometer is properly calibrated. To do this, insert a thermometer into ice water and wait for the temperature to settle. If the thermometer reads more than plus or minus 2 degrees than what it should be, in this case it should be zero because we are measuring ice, then it needs to be replaced and the calibration test needs to be repeated until a new thermometer works properly. Once we have our properly calibrated thermometer, we will insert it into the top of the still head. Next is attaching the condenser to the side spout of the still head tightly so as to ensure that it does not fall apart. Also, make sure to have both nozzles of the condenser facing upwards when you are done. Now we will attach the still receiver to the opposite end of the condenser. With each of these joints, it is imperative to use properly sized glassware clips to keep the apparatus from falling apart during the experiment. Finally, we attach the rubber tubing to the nozzles on the condenser. Make sure that they are long enough to reach a faucet and a sink respectively, and that they are held tightly with clamps. After all of this has been completed, your apparatus should look something like this. Now all we have to do is move our project into a fume hood and stabilize it with supports and clamps. First, place a large beaker on a hot plate in the hood. Then, place the round bottom flask in the large beaker, and fill up that beaker to the midpoint of the round bottom flask with water. Have a receiving beaker be placed inside of a larger beaker filled with ice at the end of the apparatus, so as to prevent the distilled liquid from converting back into a gas. Keep that end pointed off to the side. Attach the hose at the end closer to the receiving beaker, and hook it up to the faucet of the sink. Place the end of the other hose so it drains into a sink. It is very important to make sure that the rubber tubing is not touching the hot plate or it will melt and the glassware may overheat and explode. Now your distillation apparatus is ready to be put to use in whichever way you see fit to use it.